So this week I went to go cover the Battle of the Blues, Livingstone College versus Fayetteville State. Livingstone College is coming off a two game win streak so they feeling good. But to be the top dog, you gotta beat the top dog. And Fayetteville State hasn't had the best season, but they still the defending champs. Let's get into it. You might not be able to tell, but it was some rain coming down during the first half of the game. But Livingstone College wanted to make sure that they developed that ground game early. They wanted to go on the ground, go in between the tackles, right in the teeth of that Fayetteville State dominant defense. And William Guyton takes it in for seven to start the game early. 7-0 Blue Bears. So the Broncos said, anything you can do, I can do better. They run it up between the tackles. And Bryce Council comes up with the first down for the Broncos. And in the past years, the Blue Bears were really looked over as a CIAA South team. But this year, they have a huge contender chance. Shout out to Sean Gerber and the coaching staff over there for the Blue Bears because they made this Fayetteville State team work. Both defenses were playing good. Fayetteville State come up with a stop. Livingstone will come up with a stop. It was back and forth. And for a quick spoiler alert, this is the only points from the Broncos in the first half. It was scored on defense. The Broncos defense comes up with a safety for the Broncos. And as stated before, this was a defensive game in the first half. Neither team could really get their offense moving down the field. And as soon as the Broncos had a chance at light a punch of seven on the board, the Blue Bears come up with a tip interception down in the red zone to turn the ball over. Right before halftime, this would have gave the Broncos the lead, so that was a huge interception. And with this run, we go right into halftime with the score still being at 7-2. The Blue Bears are making the Broncos defend the champs, fight for everything they got. In the second half, they came out with some coaching adjustments, switched it up. Let's get up to our tight end. Yes, he goes leaping Larry over the Blue Bear defender. But once again, that Blue Bear defense is very stout, and they come up with turnovers. We've seen an interception. Here goes a fumble for a loss on third down. They recover it, but they still get pushed back and have to punt the ball on fourth down. This gives the ball back to the Blue Bears to where they was going inside the tackles in the first half. Now let's spread them outside. They're trying to get that defense moving side to side. And as Marcus Driss, the quarterback for Livingston, finds Matthew Henry pick up this first down on fourth down which is a huge play to put them in the red zone like I said man they made this Broncos team work in all phases of the game as Marcus Driss finds his receiver Delonte Delotch in the back of the end zone for a Blue Bear touchdown which gives the Blue Bears the lead 14 to 2 but the Broncos said we did finish champs for a reason we ain't gonna talk to nobody the Broncos drop back fine Trevion good for a wide open slant route he takes it to the house as the Broncos finally get on the board with an offensive touchdown and this gives the Broncos some momentum it sparked the fire on the Broncos defense as they force a three and out by the Blue Bears and this gives the offense back the ball whenever they just build up some momentum and Damari Daniels drops back throws a laser down the sideline which moves the ball down the field for the Broncos. With the Broncos building some momentum, they're down by five. They put the ball on the ground again to Bryce Council, trying to move the ball on this Blue Bears defense. But the Blue Bears defense stand tall, and on fourth down, they force a turnover on downs as Damari Daniels cannot connect with his receiver in the back of the end zone. 14-9, Blue Bears. But the Broncos defense comes up clutch once again, forces a three and out by the Blue Bears. Broncos get the ball right back. If you love defense, this was the game for you. Damari Daniels drops back on Almost gets intercepted by Jaden Eccles, but the Blue Bears force a three and out and they decide to kick the field goal this time instead of going for it. They get it. The field goal is good. Broncos down 12-14. Can the Broncos get another three and out stop and give the ball back to their offense? Marcus trying to drop back, trying to find Matthew Henry one more time, but he cannot connect, which forces a three and out and gives the ball back to the Broncos where they putting the ball back on the ground. And this late hit right here tacks on another 10 yards for the Broncos. It was getting chippy, it was getting spicy at the end of the game. The top dogs were on the ropes. Will they quit? No, they will not. Damari Daniels drops back. She says, you know what? I'll take it myself. Give me one block and I'm gone. And that's what he got. He takes it 50 yards to the house to get the Broncos the first lead of the game. 19-14, Broncos take the lead. And with four minutes left on the clock, can the Blue Bears march on the field and get seven to put their team back up on the board? Driss drops back one more time, finds Matthew Henry for a first down. The Broncos play great defense, and on third down, this time they heat him up, force him to make a quick read. He can't find it, has to throw the ball away, and gives the ball back to the Broncos with two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. But the Broncos go super conservative and run the ball, which leads to a punt by the Broncos. And with just under two minutes left, but the game on the line, the Broncos defense do what they've been doing all year. Make plays. Dylan Morris for the Broncos comes up with a huge interception to seal the game for the Broncos. And I'm going to let them talk for themselves. Hey, 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 hey,
The Broncos take the win over the Blue Bears 19-14 on a late interception to seal the game. Very close one for the Broncos, but this is why they are the defending champs. And with homecoming next week, I'm already knowing it's going to be turned. It's game day nation, and we out. Y'all, it's game day. When the band is what you hear and everybody here is cheering, all your worries disappearing, y'all, it's game day. Whether televised or streaming live in person while you're screaming, no more waiting, no more dreaming, y'all.